committing such atrocious crimes Crimes that's hard to believe Crimes that's hard to receive Especially the ones you trust so much They're the ones that throw the hardest punch It's a shame, a great shame What some people will do for selfish gain against you? Why couldn't you act? This is what you have to tell me, that I should act? Yes. Yes, get angry and act. I should get angry and act? How do you expect me to get angry and act? Where can you get angry? The very moment you give me a child in this house, the problems are over. Do you know what? You are a fool. You are a fool. Did you put any baby in my womb and they refused to stay? Yes, of course. I put plenty of babies in that womb and they refuse to stay. And do you know why they refuse to stay? That womb is rotten. What? Me? Rotten womb? Satan will release hellfire over you. Did you hear me? Satan will baptize you in Jesus' name. Look at this stupid man. Is it not all the battles we've been doing that has been depriving us a child? Oh, you think I don't know how you used your manhood for money rituals? And now, you give all the blames on me. My mother wants a grandchild. Give it to her! Look at this stupid and shameless man. Other men like you will stand by their wives. But mine will be different. I can't stand by you. I can't stand by you because I am not an idiot like the others. Now, I give you 12 months to give me a child. Otherwise, I back you out of this house. No, no. get out. Get out of my way! <sighs> <sighs> Edina, Edina, wipe away your tears. It is an insult for you to cry while I'm alive. It is an insult. Huh? The female cannot do a thing like that. He cannot do it while I'm alive. He can't try it. Papa, you understand what this man can do. Papa, you don't know this man. Papa, you have to do something. Okay, Odema. We shall know between two tortoises which one is the man. I got man, Babon, okay, okay. So, get inside. Leave the fight for me. Go inside. Papa. Edina, Papa, Edina I said go inside. Papa, do something. Get inside, Edina. There's something I want to tell you. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Right. It's about Nicole. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She's pregnant. Jesus Christ!
she has not been to school for the past two weeks. So this morning, I went into her room to find out what is happening with her, only for me to find a medical report on the floor. I was still going through it when I heard some sound in, the, in her toilet. Then I went closer. Honey, I saw this girl vomiting. If, if, if I hadn't been there, this girl would have vomited the whole of her intestine out. Oh my God! Listen, the church must not hear this. As a matter of fact, nobody, nobody must hear this. Do you hear me? What are we doing? Where is she? 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 Chifeme, you cannot give my daughter such an order. No! Maybe you want to be a husband now. Is that that is not the point, Chipeni. That is not the point. I am a traditional chief in my village. And you cannot just disgrace my daughter back to the village like that. That is an abomination. So you are trying to say, because of your obsolete tradition, that I should remain without a child for life? Oh, okay. I am the next Igwe of my community. And without a male child, I'm not going to realize that dream. You see how bad it is? Yes, I give your daughter one year to give me a child. Otherwise, I will bundle her and bring her back to your house. Chifeme, my daughter will give you a child when God wants it. And when God wants it, it will come knocking on your door. That's all. For the last four years, we've been waiting for that knock. So what makes you think that as long as she remains in my house, that knock will come? Hmm, Chifeme, you have been a good in law all the time. Now, I want you to remember all the things I've done for you by securing that land in my place for you. I want you to remember all these things. That was business. And I paid you handsomely for it. Did I not? <laughs> I hope you are not trying to touch the tail of a sleeping lion. And by the way, how are you sure that this problem is not your fault? Oh, the problem is not my fault? All right, I know what to do. I'm going to marry another woman. Maybe that's the only way I can prove my innocence. Right now, I want you and your daughter to leave my house. What did I hear you say, Chifem? No, Papa. Papa, no! No! My husband, please don't mind him. You know he doesn't know how to talk. Papa, I did not call you here to come and destroy my home. Hey, keep quiet and shut up. Yoma, right now, I want, before I come back, I want you and your daughter to leave my house right now. You get out of my house! Papa, I see what it costs for me. Keep quiet. I want you to go back inside that house, pack everything that belongs to you, and follow me. Yes, I'm leaving you here. No, Papa. Papa, no! You cannot come and destroy my home, Papa. I'm not coming with you. Papa! Papa!
And we desire the best for you. See, all we want to know from you is to tell us who is responsible for this pregnancy. And from there, we take it up. Nicole, my dear, please, all we want is for you to tell us the truth. Trust that. But I've told you his name is Dubem. Oh, it's okay. Um, what does this Dubem do for a living? Where is he from? And all we need to do is to find out his family background. That's all. Well, Dad, he's from Imo State. Imo State? What were you doing with an Igbo boy? Anyway, all we need to do is to find out the sort of family he comes from. After that, we begin to discuss marriage between you two. All we need from you is his address. Um, Dad, I, I've not really seen him for a long time now. But I'll, I'll go upstairs and get his address. Please get us the address. What do we do now? Once she gets me the address, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll fly down to Imo State to locate the boy's family and begin to discuss marriage between them. Marriage? You don't even know if they're in love. Hold it there. In this sort of situation, whether in love or not does not count. In as much as they could make a baby, we could equally get them into marriage. And that is my position on that. And that's the way it stands. You said you came all the way from Lagos to this village? Yes. And you came to see one to Bendu? Uh, yes, and I was directed to this uh, house. Uh, well, uh, the direction was right. But, uh, it's not now. Did I hear you say was? Is he dead? If I may ask, what is the problem? Well, my daughter is expecting a baby for him. And according to my daughter, she said she has not seen him for a while. And the family wanted to find out the sort of home this boy came from. And to tell them, to tell him, he should come to my daughter for them to begin their marriage arrangements. 
Ambano. Begin what? Begin marriage arrangement with Dubem, my brother. You see the problem with you, non Igbos. You believe that every Igbo man is bad, not knowing that you are the cause. Because you dabble into relationships without asking questions. I, I don't understand you. Okay. Let me tell you the truth. The Dubem you are talking about, his late father was my brother. His mother left immediately. Dubem was sent out of this village. He was sent out of this village yes. because of what? Well, the boy started stealing fowls, goats, and other things. And he know the community cannot tolerate that. And as I'm talking to you now, the mother is somewhere at Enugu practicing prostitution. So, my brother, if this is the type of family you want your daughter to be married into, well, the choice is yours. But I will advise, drop your phone number. As soon as the boy comes in, I will call you to come and pick him. possibly allow our daughter to get married into such a family? A family of thieves and robbers? No. Yes. And we also cannot keep such a baby as our grandchild. Honestly, I don't know what to do. Don't you think abortion is the only solution? Abortion? Yes. Let's get her to abort the baby. When? If you say so, that's okay by me. And I will promise to buy her a car if that will make her happy. And remember, we must keep this within the family. It's a terrible shame. How can I open my mouth and tell people? I mean, I can't even stand such shame. When do we talk to her about this? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Over dinner should be the best time. My dear, I think you're so tired. Let's go. So we can talk on this your pregnancy thing. You know, I'm your mom. I want you to tell me everything. Of course, you know, there's no problem that hasn't got a solution. I'm listening. Mom, I'm so sorry I disappointed you. It's just that I, I got carried away. How do you mean you got carried away? Actually, Duben was Mavi's boyfriend. Nicole. Mavi's boyfriend got you pregnant? Yes. Oh, my dear. That's awful. I mean, how did you get yourself into this kind of mess? I wanted to get back at her. You know, and everything is just falling on me. It's alright. Like I said earlier on, there is no problem without a solution. Go downstairs now and join your dad for the dinner. Okay? And please. He's going to be telling you some things. I beg you in the name of God, rest of peace in this family. And for the sake of the family name, whatever he tells you, please kindly do it. Okay? Hmm? Okay. That's my girl. Okay, so let's go. Hello, baby. What's happening in Niger? Who is this? Guess, baby. Who is this? Guess. Hey, 
Hey, look, I'm not in the mood for jokes, okay? Who is this? Who are you? D, D, come on, the Don Duru. Oh <laughs> my god, D! What's going on? <laughs> Hi! Where are you? The USA. I'm married to Mavis. We got married out here. Yeah, um, hi to Mavis. I should deliver. Maybe I regret all maybe I regretted all the trash I got involved in. She lost a pregnancy. I hate this country. I thought leaving Nigeria was the best thing to happen to me. But I discovered that I have my dignity in my country. What are you still doing here? Eh? Have you forgotten we're supposed to have a date with the doctor this morning? I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? I'm keeping my baby. Keeping what baby? Sweetheart, you can't do this to yourself. We all agreed last night that we're seeing the doctor this morning so he can get this thing off you. Have you forgotten? Mommy, I have not forgotten. I only changed my mind. What? Changed your mind? Oliver! Oliver, come and get your daughter out. Honey, please hurry up. Money, Monica. Honey, your daughter has changed her mind. Changed her mind? How did she change her mind? She says she's not going to the hospital. That she's not going to abort the baby. Why? She must get rid of that thing immediately. Because I'm not ready to accept a hooligan in this house. Please, I just suggest you call her and talk to her calmly. I believe you can convince her. Convince her? Yes, she must be convinced. Else, she must be steering towards a troubled coast. Honey, please, talk to this girl. Talk to her. Henry. She's really pissing me off. Nicole. Your mom said you refused going to the hospital with her. Yes, Dad. I'm keeping my baby. Nico, you are not keeping this baby. The father of this baby is a hooligan. And his product must be a hooligan. A doubt. A nobody. Dad, but he called me yesterday from the US. Don't lie to me, child. You don't know anything about this fellow. Who would have taken him to America? Who? Daddy, I'm not lying. How do you know he was coming from the US? How do you know? And is it today of all day that he remembered to call you? Okay. 
Maybe his uncle must have contacted him and he has decided to assume what he is not. Nicole, any other time he calls you, tell him that I, your father, Chief Adams, would want to speak with him. Do you hear me? Yes, Daddy. You see, she has decided to have the baby, but not in this house. She should go somewhere else and have this baby. Else I will kill her. You must do everything possible to remain my daughter's nurse until she is delivered of that baby. I will do exactly as instructed. Please, don't forget, if you need anything, just get in touch with me, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Don't make any mistake, though. Hey. Oh, Dee, it's you again. But you abandoned me for so long. is not the way they, they make it look like. Alright darling, baby I love you so much. I love you so much that you can never even imagine it. Start with your label, okay? But my EDD is in three weeks. Oh, never mind about the EDD. I have to switch your membrane first. If I have to wait for your EDD, there might be some kind of complications, and I don't want that. All right? Anything you say, doctor? Because I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired of carrying this baby. I'm tired. Thank it's you. all right, my dear. I know what you're going through. Let me arrange the nurses to come make things easy. How 
for you today, madam. Okay, okay. I'm fine, doctor. Doctor, where is my baby? For three days now, I've been in this hospital and I've not seen my baby. At least I should, I'm, I'm supposed to breastfeed my baby. Um, um. Doctor. You're hiding something from me. Where is my baby? What has happened to my baby? I want you to listen, okay? Uh, your baby is, uh, do you believe that God, all powers belong to God and He alone has the, the reason for anything at all? Doctor, is my baby dead? No, doctor, ju just, just tell me. Is my baby dead? Just calm down, no. Your baby died shortly after that. No. No, Doctor, no! Doctor, where is my baby? Where is my baby? At least I want to see his corpse. What, what have you people done for my baby? It's not that. It was very shortly after that. You know, she did me. My crying cannot bring him back, okay? Just calm down, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> in a mysterious way. Uh, Nicole, please come, I want to talk to you. Sit down, Nicole. Sit down. Sit down. <coughs> please, my daughter. This is not the end of life. You can still pick your bits and start all over again. Dad, after all the pains I went through, Dad, I was in level for three days. Three good days, Dad. And I don't have a baby to show for it. No baby to cuddle. No baby to call my own. Dad, do you know how that feels? Do you? Nicole, my dear. You're not the first person to lose a child. Mom, I don't expect you to say this. Mom, I loved my baby. And I wanted to be with him. To believe how people deceive and what people do it's hard to believe the evil that people can see it's too strange to believe it's too strange to believe it's too strange to believe too strange oh. to believe No! 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 My 
baby, 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 daddy, daddy, I saw my baby now. I saw my baby. My baby is still alive. How do you mean? Daddy, I saw that, that, that nurse Lizzie taking my baby away. My baby is still alive. I can feel it and I saw him. Nicole, now listen. You are driving this whole issue over to the edge. What is wrong with you? Daddy, nothing is wrong with me. I've been having this dream for some time now and it's still the same dream. The same dream all along, Daddy. Daddy, I know my baby is still alive. I know it. You are dreaming just because you have created a picture in your mind. Nicole, there is no baby. Daddy, there is a baby. And it's my baby we're talking about here. Daddy, my baby is still alive and I must find him. I must. Come back here, Nicole. Come back here, I said. Nicole, let me tell you. If you continue in this form, I have no other option than to send you to a psychiatric home. Madam, please spare his life. Please. Huh. Did I tell you to kill the baby? Eh? I said you should dispose of him. Okay, ma. I, I came to tell you I've given my life to Christ. I'm not a new person. What's my business with that, Lizzie? What concerns me with that? Lizzie, I paid you good money for a simple job. Here you are talking nonsense. Aren't you a nurse? You're supposed to use your initiative. You could dash the baby out. There are million women there looking for the foot of the womb. You could even sell the baby to them. I, I want you to make peace with your daughter so that I can return the baby back to her. Just keep it! Did I tell you I'm fighting with my daughter? So you want to tarnish my reputation before my daughter and my husband? Ah, madam. Hey, rubbish. Christ rubbish is reputation for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for our sins. Keep it! Now, you know what? Just do me a favor. Please. Go and bring that baby back to me. I beg you. You know he's my grandson. Eh? <laughs> Go and bring him back to me. Hello, where do I meet you? Come and meet me at the fast food joint down the road there. Get out! Stupid girl. You should have known you were a fool. Idiot. I was supposed to have a meeting with somebody, but incidentally, the person didn't turn up. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you tell me what you wanted to do with the baby? Which baby? Nicole's baby, of course. Huh. Nicole's baby. Monica, can you tell me what is going on? How could you be so cruel? How could you? Exactly, you're talking about. Nurse Lizzie brought back the baby. Huh. Yay! Nurse Lizzie. No. She shouldn't have done that. She said you told her to wait for you at a joint. But she was afraid you could hand the baby. That's why she did not hand the baby over to you. How could you have wanted the life of an innocent child? How could you? 
For huh? heaven's sake, what does this girl want from me? Eh? Honey, that girl is a complete daft. I didn't tell her to kill the baby. Is she a butcher? Eh? Look, if that girl has some initiative, that baby could have been in one of the rich homes now. Besides, honey, I'm doing all these things for you. If the church gets to know that our daughter got pregnant out of wedlock, they won't ordain you a deacon. Have you forgotten? That I know. And that is why I have taken pains to investigate into these things. But that doesn't mean we should soil our hands with the blood of an innocent child. No. I didn't tell her to kill the baby. Believe me, you know me now. What about the baby? The baby is safe. What are you going to do now? Are, are you going to hand the baby over to Nicole? No. Since she has gotten over the loss of the baby, I want it to remain so. But I am going to take the baby back to his father's village. And we forever have nothing to do with my own daughter. Yes. Yes. Good to you. Ah. Chesu. This girl is a witch. What does this nurse want from me? God. You don't want to join me? No, oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh -uh. You don't like it or what? I'm all right. Thank you. Okay. Joy! Uh, where is you? Hurry up! That is the baby. Yeah. I have decided to bring him back to his roots. Hey! One day, his father will come back home and take care of him. Is that so? <laughs> Chief. You have done very well. You have done marvelously well. The boy will be happy to see his baby. Um, I'll be going. I, I hope you will be taking good care of him. You don't have any problem. Papa, I can't believe this. Song. Some people came here and gave me the baby. I said the baby belongs to the baby. See how healthy the baby is. Eh? This is unbelievable. God has answered our prayers. Papa, how? He will take the child. Take the baby's child? Papa, it's not possible. I can't take the baby's child. Listen, 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 listen. The baby impregnated a girl. And the parents of the girl brought the baby to me. As a matter of fact, they have rejected the baby. So my daughter. God has answered our prayers. This cannot work, Papa. Besides, I can't take somebody's child, Papa. I want my own child. Listen, listen. I am going to make that child yours. As a matter of fact, the child is yours now. Papa, it cannot work. It can't work. Besides, I just left my husband's house eight months ago. Don't bother yourself about that because I have a plan. What plan? Ha, ha, ha. 
Ah, yeah, so, if I didn't see you along the road now, you will just come to this village, disappear like that without coming to see me. Chief Oyema, okay. you know I am not a happy man, you know it. You are not a happy man? I'm not. Oh, oh, oh. Is that because of your wife? Yes, you know it. Is the situation so bad? Has it got to that extent you cannot even come to see me? Even your wife, for the past two months, she put to bed. Yes, she put to bed. My wife? Oh, you don't know. You sent her away from your house with two months pregnancy. Oh, I sent her away. And she now put to bed a bouncing baby boy. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, no problem, you are my love. You are my love. You are my love. These guys, they seem to think they are tricking you and everything, but you know what they are doing. You understand? As in, you just watch them like cowards and they still feel like they are on top and everything. Oh, and I went to Starcoms today. Okay. Yeah, so I went to check what the fault was as in... Jenny! Jenny, please come and help me out of the kitchen. The phone had some issues, so they had to change it to another one. Jenny, why aren't you hearing me? I heard you. I'm coming. What is her problem? She's your wife. She's supposed to do all these things. Jennifer! You see, you don't know what you really did to my life, did you? Give me that wonderful boy. <laughs> but, but, but this is not a laughing matter. I'm very serious. Yes, because anything you want right now, you'll get. Darling, you want to tell me now that if I had not given back to this child, you wouldn't have asked me to come back home? No, no, no. You see, you, you don't understand. You see, I, I actually wanted to make the move, but I couldn't. So when I had to go to the village, I did so because I really wanted to get to you. Then your father saw me, and um, that was the opportunity only to discover that the angel of my life had given birth to a wonderful. Okay, no, I don't want to go anything again, huh? Let me bring the rest of the food. Hmm? We'll eat. Uh, but don't forget, I'm making a child. Just wait. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I done. I'm in Nigeria now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm in one hotel, um, Edmond Sio. Edmondo, yeah, Edmondo. Hey, drop by, feel free, okay? All right. So nice to see you again. All right, take care, my love. Yeah, bye, girl. Bye. Bye. Tell me. Tell me about Margaret. Oh, come on, honey. If you want us to be happy, why don't you just uh, let Mavis be, okay? Let's talk about us, okay? Okay, if that is what you want. Exactly what I want. She can't, she can't believe we got to the U.S. and she became a different person. What did she do? What did she do? She practically ordered me around. She talked to me like her houseboy. I mean, to make matters worse, I couldn't just touch my wife. Gosh, I, I wish I could beat the devil out of her, you know, just bang her head on the wall. Dee, you're scaring me. Don't tell me you're a wife beater. Not in the least. Who wants to beat an angel like you? Huh? Look, I regretted ever marrying that lady. I mean, she, she deceived me. I wish I listened to you. 
when I was trying all my possible best to discourage you from her, but you wouldn't listen to me. At the point, I even thought she was using jazz or something on you. Oh, gosh, she perhaps did. I mean, check this out. Your dad doesn't know me, but he's anxious. He wants to meet me. He wants to talk to me. Like I'm Mark Jackson and stuff, you know. You know, that's the kind of father-in-law I want to have. I mean, her father is so full of himself, so stiff, so stuck, heartless, mean. Can you imagine he specifically said he won't fund us and he stuck to his words? Isn't that crazy? Anyway, um, so when are we meeting your dad? Anytime you want. That's okay. my girl. Um, but you were married to mothers legally in the U.S., right? Oh, that's in the U.S. I'm never going back that way. That's one country where a woman holds the ace. You know, they kick you around. Well, I'm never going to visit you as I said with you, though. short in full Dubim. Um, the guy I told you about that stays in the US. He just got back yesterday. Hi sir. Yes they said it. You irresponsible idiot. Do you think you can fool with my daughter or mess with this family? Yesterday you came here and took her away and you made her to spend the night in your hotel room. And you think you are responsible? Oh, sir, honestly, I'm sorry, but it wasn't my fault. She, she wanted it. Nicole, you wanted to be with me, and she asked for it. She insisted. Now listen to me. I want you to read my lips. If I see you anywhere close to my daughter again, I will get you arrested. Now leave my house. Daddy, but you can't just send my visitor out Please, of the house. shut up! I said, leave my house! so upset before you walked in. But that, that's not a good reason for him to have treated me that way. I, I mean, I've never been so humiliated all my life. And I said I'm sorry. 
I love you so much. And that is all that matters. I'm ready to stake my life with you. You're willing to stake mine too. Mm. Come here. That man, that wretched gold digger you brought to my house, and what are both of you up to? Daddy, but I already told you who he is, and that he has asked for my hand in marriage. Don't ever talk about marriage or love here. You said he was your first boyfriend. That you only found yourself messing around with him that resulted in that pregnancy there. We were in love with each other. And if we weren't in love, I wouldn't have had anything to do with him. This is serious. Now listen to me. Tell him that he cannot be my son-in-law. Dad, what exactly do you have against this guy? A lot! I have a lot against him. I was in his village and his uncle told me his life history. He is a liar. A thief and his family has criminal tendencies. Daddy, first of all, it was about his income, then his social status, then whether he's, he's in the United States or not. Now it's all about his family. That this guy we're talking about has a bright future. Hey, let me tell you. I don't want to hear you mention his name in this house anymore. It's over. The topic about him is over. Do you hear me? Set my house ablaze, and you want to sleep peacefully in your own house. Madam, this are strange words from you. Well, in any case, Christ said, in the midst of our tribulation, he will be our cross. So why should I be afraid? I should really? be scared. Really? So Christ told you to sleep. Now listen to what I have to tell you. Now listen to what I, Mrs. Monica Adams, is going to tell you. Number one, you will go back to my daughter and tell her that you lied about her child. Number two, you will tell her that you have some mental problem that used to disturb you from time Man, to time. for but it's not my portion. Me, child of Christ, mental. <laughs> I'm sorry. Emin Banu, Ibanu Jaini. The day you took money from me for this job was the day you proved that you are a daughter of Satan. Jesus doesn't have a daughter. Even if he has, it can't be you. Listen, you must do everything I ask you to do if you don't want to swim in troubled ocean. Madam, is that a threat? Yes. I'm sorry, I, I will disappoint you. I have to report to the police, ma'am. Report me to the police? Yes. Smart girl. You are a very foolish idiot. Let me ask you, did I ever see that baby with my two eyes? No, no, no. Did I carry that baby with my two hands? Idiot. Now listen to me. You must do everything I ask you to do. Sorry, I need to disappoint you. I have to disappoint you. Fine, lazy. Let's keep our fingers crossed then. And see what tomorrow will bring. Idiot. Lizzie, are you going to do what I ask you? No, I can't. So you are daring me. Mom, I need to tell her it's good. Lizzie, you are daring me. Okay. We'll see. No, we'll see. My baby. Mm. 
Where exactly are you? I'll meet you up there. Okay, just give me. All right, all right, don't worry. I'll, I'll meet you up there. Okay, then. It's okay, man. It's all right, take it easy. So, who asked you to get a baby? Her mother wanted me to kill the baby. I couldn't. I saw the face of Christ. I had to release the baby. I took it to her father. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. So, mom and dad could be this me. It's okay, honey. Don't bother yourself. Right. We'll get the baby back. Our ah, baby. That's a lie, sir. Where's my baby? Hey, you lousy American tout. If you don't step out of this house now, I'll get you arrested. How dare you come to my house to accuse me of stealing my own grandchild? What for? Okay. Wait for me. Hello, DPO, sir. Please send some of your boys down to my house immediately. Yes. So you choose to call the cops on me, right? All right. Good. I'll take you to the extreme. I will stretch you to your mess. The very mess you and your family started. I'll stretch you. Honey, I gotta go now. Coming with you. No, 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 listen. Hey, I got my plans. Okay, just hang on. I am part of any plan you choose. So be it. Hey, come back here. You are going nowhere. That's a lie, sir. Where's my baby? Hey, you lousy American tout. 
If you don't step out of this house now, I'll get you arrested. How dare you come to my house to accuse me of stealing my own grandchild? What for? Okay. Hello, DPO, sir. Please send some of your boys down to my house immediately. Yes. So you choose to call the cops on me, right? All right. Good. I'll take you to the extreme. I will stretch you to your mess. The very mess you and your family started. I'll stretch you. Honey, I gotta go now. I'm coming with you. No, 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 listen. Hey, I got my plans. Okay, just hang on. I am part of any plan you choose. So be it. Hey, come back here. You are going nowhere. Also, eh? See the woman why I don't arrange me we go doing your job. Up till now she never show up, bros. Plus I don't tire this one too much, eh? I need be like say I go cut from you. And how do you mean cut out from me? What do you mean by that? Bros, you be bad luck. I mean say you be really, really bad luck. Person where enter one chance, but that person where they follow you, bros. Yeah, <laughs> floods. Please, if you want to insult me, go straight and insult me. What kind of insult? Ah, they tell you what do you mean? Eh? Ah, they tell you something. Can you oh, oh, pata yan be this? Bro, Stop that rubbish, you. Bro, see. Ah, they tell you insult you. Since when you can't carry me from village, you can't Lagos, send me with him up do business. Tell me which one, don't you? Eh? So, how you come become my fault? Eh? How is it my fault? Bro, now today you won't hear her. Eh? Now today you won't hear say strong head and witchcraft the follow person come from village. Eh? I mean you know nothing like they cause all this kind of casualty. Casualty. Just look at your mouth. See the mouth where you take the blow, you know? Casualty. Make I even ask you. Those men where they whack you day in, day out, every hour, every second, every blessed day, without giving you kobo. Don't you know or realize that those ones are the mother of that luck? You don't know that one. Bros, you think say easy to Pele? You think say Pele easy? If not be that Pele waiting for the one. I better hear what? Could your temper, John? What do you mean Pele? Where is the Pele? Neither. How many times you don't defeat me for day self? I don't talk and before say any woman where they do this kind old fashioned business where you day into. Eh? When no no saying they save small small money for the rainy day. That person don't palaku. I they tell you that and you no one realize that. It's an old fashioned way. Leave Think out. loud, let's make money. Hey, 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 hey. Mama, the mama. <laughs> Heavy mama. My eyes shine. Uh -uh. Mama, mm -hmm. I'm mean, saying you don't change your mind now. Don't worry, it's a serious business. I'm going to my mind. Who is that guy? Is he your partner? Yes. This is my bros now. Bros Tony. The biggest bros with this town. You trust him? And then, Mama, eh? Where the picture of the person who won't go by? Um, actually, I forgot it, okay? But right now, I'm going to take you to her house. You won't have any problem, okay? You'll identify her as soon as you see her. She's tall, very dark, mm, not too slim, you know? I hope you guys are ready to do this job. Hey, Madame, I beg, wait in behind them. That's not important. I say, what him be the person's name? Uh, Have you want to choose our job? Um, uh, okay, her name is Lizzie. Yes, her name is Lizzie. <laughs> Did you hear that? 
that one, a doggy name, a dog's name. <laughs> Let me give you 50% of your pay, okay? Then when the job is completed, I'll give you the balance. No, my boss, get the balance. Uh, well, uh, madam, um, let me just answer you that one. You see, you will try and make it 70%, okay? So that we will have a deal, so that we can deliver. But anything short of that, eh? <laughs> we can deliver to the devil. Okay, um, all right. That's all right by me, okay? Um, Clumsy. I think you have to follow me to the car. Okay, I'll give you the money then. Okay? This guy who are way with the wigs, are you sure the woman go to come? Uh, boss, relax. She go home now. She's standing here to pay fast. Good evening. Uh, good evening, ma. Good evening. Can I help you? Um, yes, ma. Madam, we look for one girl. Her name is Nadisi. Eh? She be nurse. In the contact. Where well, dark? Where well, well, Yes. Tall and dark. Uh, oh, her house is over there. Okay. She will soon come out. She's about going to vigil. Thank you very much. We don't actually need your help, but uh, we want to help you, right? Okay. <laughs> Jesus! Shoot this thing! Eh? Who shoot now? I don't shoot now! You know this is God, not the react! What do you want me to do? Which one is that God? God, not the... No, yeah, no, it's not what the... Eh? I don't know, I mean, you, you, you delete that guy, you know, 50 liters. I mean, they're there, they're like... I'm going to shoot back. She has not come back. You mean she is not back by this time of the night? No. I've not seen her. Anyway, don't let her situation take a better part of you, okay? No, not at all. You know, Nicole is no longer a baby. She's no longer a kid. She can take care of herself, okay? Yes. Go to bed. Juju, they follow you come from village, eh? See, see what you do for there now, now? See, I'm out. When you talk self, you know they will listen to yourself. Just hear yourself. Eh? She be you there, dear. Why you not carry your hand? Put for her mouth for me. Eh? I beg no vest. Wait till be that thing when you talk, say she talk. Wait till be that. She mentioned the name Jesus. And as she mentioned her, my body can catch good. Good, come catch me well, well. Come, come hold me. Hold me everywhere, so I don't even know how to press my gun again. Chai! Ah, bros, even if I make her flog you, eh? Even if I make her flog you, bros, see at your age. Bros, at your age. Jesus, we people, they come make money. Jesus, sir! Eh? Ah, what's happening now? Chai, chai, chai. Waiting, huh? No, 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 no. I remember, sir. I forget the bullet at home. Hey! Hey, from Bros! Bros, you say waiting. Let me, let me explain what happened. Floxy, 
at one point uh, when I got ready to go out, I said, let me clean my machine. Clean up properly. Now I'm going to remove all the bullets. Now I might come forget so I don't replace them again. Chai! I forsake which kind Jesus be this? We make my bazooka not this chai! <laughs> Commissioner of police. Well, she thought I was. Uh, That's what? Now, enough of this nonsense. Lizzie, enough of this nonsense. Now, get out of my house. Madam, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I've done nothing to you. Don't kill me. Me, kill you. Yes. Come on, get out of this place. If you are mad, go somewhere else and exit your madness. Come on, get out of this place. Leave. About to. It is very obvious that you are the one that sent those people for the assassination attempt of that young lady. Ah, Oliver, why are you talking like this? I don't know what you're talking about now. Eh? I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah. Now I know how to check the ugly tide sweeping away my family. I must tell Nicole and that boy. Ah, no, 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 no. Honey, ah, please, I beg you, don't do this. I did everything in the interest of the family name. Listen, if I don't do what I must do, ah. later I will regret it. Because the way you are going about it will land us into a serious no. trouble. No, no, no. Ah. <laughs>
Nico. Yes, Daddy. You are my daughter. And you will never cease being my daughter. Since Dubem is your choice of husband, well, I have decided to give you my blessing. But for the baby, I took the baby down to your home, to them. Um, sir, with, uh, with due respect, I, I must say that is not true. It is true. I handed the baby over to your uncle, Onyema. If you go home, you will find the baby there. Oh, Daddy, I hate you. Thank you. Thank you. Dubin, sir, the reason why I took the baby to your home was because I never wanted to have anything to do with your family. Everything I had about you have almost been confirmed. But I have decided to accept you as my son-in-law. That means everything I have as my business investments will be entrusted to you. <sighs> sir, uh, thank you very much, sir. Daddy, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I, I promise, sir. I'd never disappoint you, sir. No problem. Thank you, sir. You're right. Wow. Dad is a hero, really. <laughs> you can stay Didn't you have a hero for him? Yeah. Of course I, I did. I told you had a crazy daddy like you, too. I told you that my daddy was cool. He's crazy like you. Are <laughs> <laughs> you mad? <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Is this the fast food joint you said you are? Anyway, I've come to ask my money. The whole of them. Which one? You're a thief to ask me that question. Two of you are cheats. Listen, I want you to return the money I gave you for a job which you did not do. If you don't do that, I'll call the police now. And I'm going to expose two of you. Thieves. You are a, a, a big cheat. Madam, let me talk that thing when you talk again. I said two of you are fools. You are thieves. You are deceivers. And if you don't get my money, the whole of them, I'm going to call the police. You serious? You are a thief. Brother. Baby. Let me show this woman your two things. Okay. Action and penny. All right. Thank you. <laughs> You're just bluffing. And action, you mean? Now, take a look at this. This is the best weaponry ever made. Hmm? Uh -huh. And smell it. No, it's a, it's a gun. It's a gun. Uh, hmm. okay. Now, you have two options. Either to quietly walk out the way you came in here, or. Hmm. I go waza you into two. Before I waza you and uh, pele you, as my sister instructed me, I go pele you well, well, then turn you upside down. Then this Yagazoka will become waza. Now, which one have you taken? Take and take this one. Want which one? Yeah, please. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ah. Get out. Ah. Get out. Oh, 
bro. Mm. <laughs> my bro. Oh, my bro. Hey, big guys, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Hey! Not in Mecca. Not Not in But some years ago, you never wanted him to go, if not for my insistence. The Bem, okay. once again, you're welcome home. And I must thank you for what you've given to me and your mother. Thank you. We quite appreciate it. <laughs> well, Uncle, I should be the one showing the appreciations here. You know, um, I want to thank you for your support when I was here in the village. And thank you for the strength you gave to me, you know, the courage you gave me to forge ahead, to move on. You know, it was so, it was so helpful. And also, I want to thank you for taking care of my mother here. Your sister, while <laughs> yeah. I was away, I'm hmm? very grateful. Oh, thank well. you. Thank you. Um, you Mama, while I was still in Nigeria before I traveled, I, I impregnated a girl. Ugochi, why are you so startled? He never said he killed the girl, but merely impregnated her. Hey, Mama, I, I want to marry her now. And the child is saying with Uncle Onema in this village. So. Took the baby to Onema. The girl's father rejected me initially, but now we, we have reconciled and we are friends now. My brother, Chukuru. My problem is still big. How? My son, if your baby is with Onyema, forget it. Because he must have used the baby for ritual. Onyema is evil and he can do anything. Mama, I am no more that little boy you used to know. I'm a man now, full blown man. I'll handle him. He can't mess with me now. Ugochi, Dubem, tomorrow we shall be going to Nyama's house and put an end to whatever matter we have at hand. Yes, Dubem, um, I have to thank you very much for all these things you brought to me and uh, even the bag of rice inside. You see, if I didn't send you away from my house for you to go and become responsible for yourself, you wouldn't have been such a rich man by now. <laughs> that is very correct. Uncle, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much for all, all right. you have done for me. It's all right. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Especially taking care of my son while I was away. I'm very grateful. Ah. Thank you, Uncle. Your son? Your son, which son? My in-law told me that he brought my son to you for safekeeping. Your in-law, are you married? <clears throat> um, what he's saying is this. Somebody brought his son to you, and that very son he has come to take back. Hey, I have heard and seen where a man suddenly runs mad. But I have not seen where three people like you are sitting here now. I have not seen where three people like you are sitting. We go naked and run to the market square and become mad. I have not seen that. Onyema, you have not changed. Uma, will you take part and shut up? Shut up! So, you people brought all this rubbish to have the ground to insult and to, to bribe me and insult me. Is that? If that is the case, take all this rubbish out of my house immediately. Take it out! Uncle Onyema, I want my son and I want him now. Hmm? Do you see any child in my house? Everyone. I don't see any. Are you a babysitter? Look, look at this man. Look at you, buddy. You that you you don't shake your shirt. Do you see any child in my house? Now I want I want to take this rubbish and leave my house right now. Leave my house. 
How can you people come here to insult me? What? You know what is wrong with me now? He said you push you. Remove your hand there, then tell him to take that thing and leave my house. What kind of rubbish you is that? You push you leave now. Tumudi, leave these people out of here before, before I, I hit you. I am going to destroy both of you now. Are you looking at me? You push you go now. How can you accuse me of stealing a child? Tina, do you have here? Let me. Hey, hey. Don't just call my name. Ah. Have you forgotten when you told me not to allow people to know that your daughter got pregnant out of wedlock? Everything I did was for the interest of the family's name. Who cares about the family's name? Eh? Who cares about what people will say about my family? Are their families better than mine? Hello? Is that the Deputy Police Commissioner? Uh, yes, this is uh, Chief Adams. Please, I have a situation in my hands and I want you to intervene immediately. Yes. Okay. Uh, please, I will get back to you soon. All right, sir. All right. Thank you. Oliver, who are you calling police for? Hey. Uh, uh, please, my daughter, calm down. It's all right. Tomorrow, I'll fly down to the east to see that vagabond. I thought he was a responsible man. He told me all sort of unpleasant things about Dubai and his family. That's why. Today come tomorrow. That is all we have been hearing from you, Onyema. Your yeah, in-law got all the land in this community with the pretense that it's going to be the factory that will employ all our youth. Because he got into the fact that those portions of land have mineral deposits in them and he tricked us and gave those lands to the government only to collect royalties all alone. And he has not given us our own share of the million. Yes. Ayakata, Ogatoko Poro, Mbano, Paobi. You surprise me. If Chinedu is talking, it's understandable. Your own. You don't even know how to pronounce the million. You call it million, 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 million. I will be. How many days is left for you to spend in this world? Very few days. Onyam, are you wishing me dead? No, 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 I'm not wishing you dead. It's only nature. Nature is wishing you dead, it doesn't. Oh, is that what you're telling me? Yes. Onyam, I will place calls on you. Onyama, you will meet your doom. You will die a painful death, Onyama. I will be sick down. Uh, you will die a painful death, Onyama. If I will be dead, is dead. Whether painful or otherwise. By the way, Paobi, have you ever heard of any sweet dead? Uh, is that what you are telling me? Of course. Okay. Wait and see. <laughs> Onyama, we shall see. Paobi, you are battling with old age. That's the problem you have. Uh, Junior, the last. You are my man. You see, death is worrying the old man. The old man is almost gone. He said, relax, you are my man. I'm going to bring drinks so that we can drink. This man wants me to spend all the money we will use for his burial on, on him. We cannot do that. Oh, oh, yeah, man. Hmm? Are you sure? Another no, no problem. I you are my man. Trust you again. Are you sure? Oh, don't do. Oh, yeah, man. Are you sure? Oh, you know. How dare you enter my house and accuse me of stealing a baby? And by the way, where am I? What witness what can you produce? Did you give me any receipt? Our birth certificate? Then how can you prove it? Jesus Christ, I can't understand you. You are sounding so ridiculous. Understand it? what? Jesus Christ. Anyway, I don't blame both of you. I don't blame both of you at all. Now let me warn you. If you don't get out of my house right now, I will call the use of this land to destroy you. Which is okay. Look at this. Look at this. Don't worry. We have gotten what we want. 
Idiots, useless fools. Look at you. Look at your size. You can give somebody a baby without giving you a bath and you pay down the receipt. Are you not fools? Look at these foolish people. Giving me a baby without you seeing me in the bath and you pay. God punish two of you. Bloody fools. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. It's one of the wicked uncles I have on this village. I don't trust him. Eh? I know you are looking for the baby. Onyema has given the baby to his daughter that has been barren. The baby now stays with Onyema's daughter and the husband in Lagos. Aobi, are you sure of what you're saying? Let us listen to you. Onyema thought that is clever. When you brought that baby in this family, Onyema did not want us to know. He hid the baby from us. He forgot that you can hide the baby, but you cannot hide his cry. Now, follow me to my house. Let me give you my son's address. He stays with one chief. Amen. If you get to my uh, son in Lagos, he will take you to chief Amen. And the baby in that house is your baby. I'll be very grateful. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, my God bless you. Thank you, my ah, I didn't expect that. It is good for one to listen to the elders. Sometimes they might be forgetful. Sometimes they might become greedy and selfish. Sometimes they might act like little children. But one thing is sure, the wisdom of the elderly ones are still there. That's true, sir. Let's go and see. Well, I'm What are you trying to tell me? That my old son is not my child? That's what I'm saying. It's my son. It's not yours. So I want him back. But do you know what you're talking about? Anyway, I don't think I have answer to that question right now. When my wife comes, we'll take care of that. Sir, I want you to know that you're facing a very serious case of child theft and kidnapping. Shut up! Do you know who you're talking to? You come into my house to accuse me of, of, of stealing my own child? What is the meaning of this? You told us you don't know the hospital the child was born. Not even his place of birth. Is that not suspicious enough? So not suspicious. What an affront. I am a businessman. A business mongol. And not a 20 naira collecting policeman like you. Chief, we have had you. We'll be back. But don't run away. Me, run away. You said your husband absconded from home in the United States. Yeah, right. yeah. And I can't believe he did that. He lied to me. He told me he had got another job in another city and that he was going to be away for two weeks. He was in Nigeria and he's been gone for two months. And I still haven't seen him. I told you. I told you that boy is a loafer. The boy is a bad news. Didn't I warn you? Well, um, I don't think he's in Nigeria. But even if he is in Nigeria, I have not seen him. Your advice got me this far, Dad. I mean, if you had practically left my life alone, I would have married Peter and had a peaceful life. But no, you kept on badging on my godforsaken, miserable life. Stop, Mavis. I mean, don't blame anyone for your misfortune. That's not the time for you to pick your pieces together and leave that idiot alone. I know nothing good will ever come out of him. I know it. Please. Yes. I mean, even you know that if Dad had helped us, all this wouldn't have happened. Have to. In what aspect? Financially, Dad. I mean, I wasn't working, he wasn't working. We're practically wasting away. Both of us suffering in the US. My dear, any man that cannot take care of his wife and his family is not fit for a husband. Eh? Let that idiot go. Let him go for all I care.
when you get a child? Where did you get that child? You don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. Duben came here with some policemen and a chief. Duben claims that my son belongs to him and that you stole the child from him. You mean Duben came here? Oh, you know him? No, I don't know him. That's not true. Uncle, she's lying. So, what is he to you? I swear he's only my cousin. Your cousin? Your cousin? Oh, you've been sleeping with your cousin? God forbid! I swear he's my father. He only wanted to secure my marriage. So he stole a child and brought it. Jennifer, yes, go get those back to part. What? Where you come back? Jennifer, if you make a move, I will deal with you. You are getting out of my house today. Come on, don't touch me. Where is Jennifer? Get out. Wait, I said get out. Please help. Oh, you don't want to? Two months ago. Yeah. And uh, who are you? I'm his wife. You are the best wife? Yes, sir. Hey, I can't have a good The woman that just came back and said that he's getting married. What? No, I mean, that's impossible. I'm, I'm his wife. I'm not arguing about that. I've told you the truth. This is the husband's picture. Yes, like I told you, this is my cousin. He's getting married very soon. I mean, how, when, why? Oh, how and why, I don't know. But what I know, he's getting married very soon. Um, really, I'm sorry, sir. I hate to bother you. But can I get something like an address? I really need to see him. No problem. I, I will get you the address. No problem about that. Eh? Hold on. Madam's address. He lives in Lagos. The man is getting married to his daughter very soon. Oh, so sorry, sir. Really, um, thank you. It's all right. I'm leaving now. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the <babe's> wife. <laughs> Sure that Onyema knows that I'm the one that said it. Pabobi, Onyema, eh? 
you think you are clever. You are wise. You think you get away with all this you have been doing in this community? No. You won't get away with it. Bobby, so you are the one that revealed this secret to them. <laughs> Bobby, you did. Bobby, I will tell you that you have awoken a sleeping lion and you won't go free with it. Bobby, I will tell you the difference between Alakan and Ebe, Onyema, and ordinary Bobby, who cannot hold a plan. No, you are threatening me, Bobby. You have trampled upon the tail of a rattlesnake and you are going to have the pinch. Onyema, you are threatening me. This is your last hour. We shall see. Onyema, we shall see. Bobby. The sleeping lion has been awoken. Baobi, the sleeping lion has been awoken. You are going to see the danger. You go inside, leave the fight for me. <laughs> Enya, don't get inside, leave the fight for me. <laughs> Baobi, Baobi, I'm going to tell you the difference between Alukan, Nebe, Onyema, and Onari Baobi. Baobi, now you have awoken a sleeping lion. You are going to have the pinch. Oh, Baobi, you have dug your grave. And you are going to tell me that you are the one that did. I'm going to be bold to tell you that this is your last day on earth. I will be your girl, and I want to wish you goodbye. He has been a, a cog in the wheel of progress. But now that you have completely shut yourself of him, just watch what I'm going to do for you. Honestly. I love you, <laughs> I love you too. Uh, no. Lali, let me take her to the airport in her car. I'll use it to go to the club meet I told you about. You're going to have to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, no problem. It's okay, I'll miss you, my darling. Open that day.
About your boyfriend. Where is he? Hey, he's not with me, sir. But I know he's somewhere having his wedding, but he's not with me. Hey, sir, sir. Take, us, take us there. No, only Pele. Pele, you see, sir. That you are a Jiba Ufto, you go, you sir. Call him my Pele. Shh. You want to be safe? Just take us safely there. Okay. okay. Member of your team, mm -hmm. you guys used me. Huh? Okay, I'm not a robber. Mm -hmm. Don't you try that? Uh, all this way you need from that grammar. You carry my belly, my money, everything. You follow me? Don't yeah. even shake your body. Out. You're a dead person. Shut up! Stop it! The game is up. Everyone, of you free. You are under arrest for ad robbery and terrorizing the society. Let me tell you our story. Let me tell you our story. Let's tell you our story now. This Thank you for saving my day. This hood Will you shut up your mouth? You are also under arrest. No, no, no. Hey, money, no congress. Officer, he's not. He's not. This is the war. It doesn't matter. Officer, are you sure what you're doing? You're doing embarrassing me. Daddy. Mommy, please do something now. Do something. Oh, no. ah, do something. Do something. Officer. 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 Officer.